Hi Leo, my ascendant brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. Um, and I do want to say, just so that everybody's aware and letting everybody know, starting now, I know I've been talking about these changes and I know a lot of you have been like, okay, well, where are they? Because nothing's happened yet. And that's why I said, stay tuned, right? I've been busy beavering away on things behind the, the scenes. It's possible that the monthlies are coming back, but those and the weeklies, just to give you a complete heads up and total transparency, they will be going behind a YouTube membership paywall. It's going to be super super uh, super affordable like the price of a coffee roughly uh, so stay tuned for that but I just wanted to give you a heads up to let you know that it is coming um, so I'm going to tell you every week until it's you know we're going to do a countdown effectively so stay tuned before we start as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your key to the week this week you have i wonder if it's gonna be no it's the other side of it so unfortunately so if you've been with me long enough you know I never edit my content what you get is what you get but this one it was a mess <laughs> like, it was trust me it was a mess so um, what's funny is the key to the week that we got in the last video before it all went tits up um, was the tower and if you've been with me long enough you know that the tower and the fool to me are uh, two halves of a hole right <laughs> like they are literally two sides of a coin so I find this really interesting now um, for your so you've got the full card right new things new places new people new energies new stimuli are showing up for you this week new ways of doing pretty much everything are starting to be implemented over the course of this week so I love this for you um, or for us right and it also remember when the full card shows up it's kind of like a cosmic reset button in some way shape or form the sun has now at the point that you're going to be watching this the sun has basically left the sign of leo so you know that's it right you've had your annual sojourn of your ruler that's gone round the zodiac gathered all of its time energy and effort and it's disseminated that and put it back into you right it's poured all that life heat and vitality well now that that's passed and it moves into virgo it's time to do things differently for your actions and options you've got the the seven of swords so this week the biggest thing that i want you to watch out for and this is something that i actually love about leos right not that it's a negative experience that we can have but we are so genuine of heart that we can sometimes be a little bit gullible right so this week you've got the seven of swords in your actions and options this is about what you do right so one thing that i do want to say is if there's information that you're putting out make sure that you have fact checked and verified that information just so that you can be 100 percent clear do not outsource this do not leave it to somebody else and do not blame it on somebody else should the information that you put out be found to be wrong right take responsibility this week now that being said, it is also possible, right? Because sometimes tarot gets really literal, the fool. Sometimes this week you could be a little bit, you know, you might just find yourself being a little bit more gullible than usual. And so it's like you fall for something that quite frankly, is not something that you would usually fall for or that you should fall for. So just be very careful about what you're buying into and believing. Now, another way that this also shows up is um, one of the older meanings for the Seven of Swords by uh, Arthur Edward Waite. So one of the guys who, so the guy that created this deck alongside Pamela Coleman Smith. One of the ways that this... Um, was sort of brought about um or one of the words that he used one of the key words that he used for this um card was uh design right or what's another word for a lie 
a fabrication. So it can sometimes talk about creating a literal physical, or you know, in today's world, a digital product. So you might be starting work on some kind of new, brand new form of product or possibly even service for some of you. Um, something to think about. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Knight of Swords. Even though Mercury goes direct at the end of this week, it's still possible that there are going to be a few hiccups and possibly some misunderstandings, right? And so for this reason, you just want to be extra careful with your communications this week before you fly off the handle or before you jump on your horse and sort of take off half cocked. Make sure you have fact checked everything. Make sure you've got all the information. Another way that this potentially shows up for you as well, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, give yourself a moment before you allow everybody to demand answers from you. All right, like don't be so quick to give an answer just for the sake of appearing like you know stuff, right? It's okay to take a breath. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, if you're going to fight on somebody else's behalf, make sure that person isn't in the wrong, right? Um, this has happened to me once before where I, I've allowed people to effectively weaponize me. So I'll be the person that takes the brunt of all the shit because other people will wind you up and watch you go because you're the person that everybody kind of listens to once they lose their shit. Don't be that person, all right? For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, I know I myself am there, I'm chomping at the bit to get all of this new stuff out, and yet, it's not now. It's not this minute, right? As impatient as you are and can be, now is not the moment, Leo, all right? Bide your time a little bit longer. For those of you that are um, retired and no longer working, this could be a complete misunderstanding that you end up having to do some kind of damage control on. And again, if this is that somebody's bought about a whole heap of shit for themselves because they just weren't paying attention, sometimes people need to learn that lesson, right? So be very careful about what you jump into, you know, doing for someone else. For your love and relations, you've got the Tower card. Okay, so there's that. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, it's very possible that this, you know, look at the cards, right? There's no getting around this. It's not for all of you and it's not guaranteed, but this could be a deal breaker in a relationship. And I said to you, right, the one that was going to come up as the key to the week in the previous read uh, with uh, the same deck, because I never change the decks, like ever for each video that I use, like the only ones that I rotate are the... Um, the the deck that I use of the separated majors because I've only got a set few of those but the tower was going to be in this position so the fact that it's come up here this is potentially what it was talking about regardless now this could be a, a relationship breaker there's no getting around this right and it could be because there's some kind of information that comes to light maybe something that is as a realization a conversation so before you sort of run off half cocked, just be very careful um, about the conversations that you have with your significant other. Now, also, if you're going to go to war on that person's behalf, again, make sure they are not in the wrong. OK, now, for those of you that are single, honestly, there's always going to be better weeks than this to be getting into relationships. That being said, I would not be surprised if some of you ran into an ex this week and it just absolutely blows your fucking mind, okay? So there's that. Personally, I'm not here for it. For, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Tarot, I see you. Okay, Leo, I see you. So look, you've got the Knight of Swords, you've got the Knight of Wands. Two knights represents intimacy. It's quite possible single partner and whatever um that there could be a tryst of epic proportions that takes place this week all right so that's all i'm gonna say like there could be some sexy tan that goes ahead this week that you really just don't expect 
maybe your partner just grabs you and like a, you know maybe you go out for a walk or whatever and they just bungle you into an alley or into a bush somewhere or do you know what I mean like it could be really surprising really explosive very sexy um, there are horny times to be had if you're a Leo okay so there's that for your, when it comes to your money and materials though, the Knight of Wands is great for money because it's a chance to make extra money now, but it's a boost to the cash flow that comes in sort of, it's kind of like a here and now, right? So this could be some kind of part-time work, it could be a part-time job, it could be um, not seasonal, but like, yeah, like seasonal, like, you know, there's an event that you work or you do something along those lines or maybe you put promotion on with your business or whatever. So there's some kind of boost to the finances that shows up this week. When it comes to your home and environment, sorry, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, I love this card for physical health and vitality because it's a lot of energy, but coupled with the tower, I do want to say this week, be really careful of things like inflammation, like pushing yourself too far. Just be careful with that. And then when it comes to your home and environment, Knight of Wands, you might not be spending a lot of time at home this week, or it's potential, is, or there is a potential that you are playing host to somebody who is traveling. So it's like they're traveling and they're passing through and your home is like the stop off point. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Remember all the things that I said, things will be changing very soon. Take care and I'll see you soon.